welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so here again i have my chestnut go and today i'm going to take it outside i'm going to be playing it in direct sunlight i have witnessed that other content creators claim that this is not suitable for playing in direct sunlight because of the leds the leds just do not really stand out well in direct sunlight and it's hard to tell where those leds are so that is if the computer is making a move or an online opponent is making a move it's hard to tell where to move that piece you have to refer to the you'll have to refer to your mobile phone to find out where to move the piece um, so i'm going to give it a test and see the results for myself so here is my chestnut go if you're unfamiliar with the chestnut go you can check out my other videos as well i have made an unboxing video as well and I've also suggested some minor improvements to Chestnut. So Chestnut has sponsored this video with the Chestnut Go and so I am showcasing this product today and also in the long run I will be making further videos along the road so do tune in if you're interested in um, some interesting gameplay footage with the Chestnut Go. I myself I am actually not a grandmaster but I do enjoy playing a game of chess, especially on the electronic chess boards. I have been playing for several years. And so if you're interested, do tune into my channel and I'll be showcasing some chess eboards along the road and some actual gameplay with these products. I have also made some reviews for other chess boards and so for the chestnut as well. I am going to showcase some more videos with chestnut along the road. So again, do tune in. And so, yes, so this is Chestnut, Chestnut Go. It's inside its case. I'm just going to take it out. If you're unfamiliar, again, do check out my videos, my Chestnut Go videos. So the pieces are inside this sack and we have our chess e-board inside its pouch. When you do purchase this Chestnut Go, you'll get it along with this case and in October of 2024, they have a special promotion of up to 17%. You can use my discount code in the description. It's Roland123. So yes, so this is the chess e-board, the chess nut go. I'm going to be taking outside and observing the LEDs for myself. Let's see how it goes. See you there. Let's play an online game through chess.com. E4, E5. D2, D4. I think I will, I think I'll capture the pawn. Queen captures. All right. <laughs> now I'm under a tree and I'm playing in the shade. Hopefully the LEDs will appear much better. Let's go for another online game. So I'm versing someone by the name of Rafa, Raphael perhaps. Oh, I'm black.
two knights opening, pawn up on e5, he's going to move his white pawn from d2 to d3, d3. I'll move my pawn up to d5, I'll gain a center hold of the center squares, he moves from b2 to b3, I'm going to move my bishop. I'll move my queen to e, e7. Queen to e7. Hopefully no blunders this time. Okay, bishop to f3. I think I did blunder. So this is not good news. <laughs> I'll move my knight to d7. Knight to d2. Knight to e5. But once I did pretty well, I may have blundered once or twice, I did lose my pawn, but I think I had a substantial advantage in the positions, so I think it was a fair game. Pretty good for the chestnut go. The LEDs are pretty hard to see in the sunlight, so I had to refer to the chestnut app to make my moves. Of course, when I moved my pieces, I didn't have to look at the screen, but um, when the opponent moved his own pieces, it was really hard for me to see where he wanted to move because the LEDs are hard to see in the sunlight. So I had to refer to the chestnut app. Anyhow, pretty good game. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.